Welcome back to Investor Intel, a very special gold project today. I'm Peter Clausy, here with Norman Champigny from Quebec Precious Metals Corp. Hello, Norman. Good afternoon. Good to see you again. You as well. I think we chatted at PDAC in early March. We did. Yeah. It's a bit of a blur now. It's, what, nine months ago? The world has changed significantly since then. <sighs> Boy, has it ever. Um, let's talk about Quebec Precious Metals Corp. Trades as QPM on the Venture Exchange. What's very exciting is your recent press release about the drill program in northern Quebec. Yes, it is, because we are drilling an extension, what was known before, that we've been drilling for some time since the company was created. It's called La Pointe Extension, and it's a two-kilometer extension from the main deposit that we have identified, and we believe it can, it's going to continue uh, to the southwest of where we've been drilling. Right, because you've taken grab samples at surface that would indicate that trend continues. Grab samples, but also we've done geophysical gold surveys, induced polarization surveys, and we also have good soil geochem anomalies. So you add all these three indicators combined uh, and they match, and that makes it very exciting. Ground truthing, we like to call it, right? That's what it is. Ground truthing. So you've drilled 19 holes. You've only reported on five of the holes, which means 14 holes are still pending. That's correct, and we expect to be reporting in batches for the remaining holes over the weeks to come. And we expect the results to be quite good. So I, I went through the results. Uh, there's some really nice intervals there. The one that's most eye-catching is over 100 meters of close to one gram. That shows considerable continuity. Yeah, continuity uh, laterally, uh, so a long strike, but also at depth, as shown on the press release uh, figures. Uh, it's consistent. It's in a rock that is silicified paranoid, so it's a uh, very hard rock, uh, which... Uh, we can trace uh, easily um, and from drill hole to drill hole. Uh, we're drilling at 50 to 100 meters spacing, and we'll continue to do that uh, in early 2021 to prove up uh, a significant resource uh, that uh, we want eventually a company that is specialized in developing resources or mining to come in and, and do that. What especially caught my eye was you didn't have any high-grade intervals. It's not like you drilled into a nugget over half a meter. This is a consistent 100 meters of almost a gram. That's correct. The silicified pyronite has a bit of disseminated pyrite. Arsenal pyrite is a good indicator. Right. And that's very consistent. You know that you're in a pyronite, you know it's homogeneous, and you get consistent grade from drill hole to drill hole. So, how old is that rock? Is that well, Archean? This is Archean rock. So, And it's also a high-grade metamorphic okay. uh, species. So we're looking at upper amphibolites, so it's been cooked up quite a bit. Uh, and that characterizes that area of the shield, of the Canadian shield of James Bay. And also, it's found at a contact between two subgeological provinces. Uh, and that front, metamorphic front, is the uh, regional uh, guideline that you follow to find uh, these deposits. And this is how the Eleanor mine was found by Virginia back in 2004. Okay. And sold to Old Corp. I didn't know that. So, in your press release, there's some uh, discussion of an accelerated program, drill, baby, drill. Yes, yeah, so we have coverage uh, done uh, by uh, Laurentian, and that's what we want to do uh, is, is keep drilling until we get to our goal. Our goal is to have 2 million ounces of a resource uh, available before we can disclose it. That's a lofty resource. Well, that's what you need. Uh, that's for a standalone operation that part of the world, and that's, that is our goal. It's been our goal since the creation of the company. Now, um, I forget who told me this, but I was told that QPM was excellent at community relations. So what communities are you engaging with? This is a Cree territory. This is the ee 2 uh, James Bay territory. They've had three agreements with the government of Quebec to encourage economic development. That's going back to the hydro dam development in the 70s. Right. Uh, and that community uh, that we have there is also present in a number of uh, small villages. The closest one to our site is Wemenji. They've helped us with snow removal. We work with our trapline owners. They are the, the, one of the greatest beneficiaries from mining activity at the Illinois mine, not that far away. Right. Uh, so we keep engaging and keep working with them, and we want to do more with them as we progress with our exploration program. So going forward, um, we have 14 holes pending. Are they in the lab now? Do we expect them this week, next week? They are on the lab. Uh, the lab had to slow down because of COVID. Uh, but, and there's a lot of 
drilling for gold in Quebec, as you may know. Yes. Uh, so uh, they are on the lab. They're all being processed. So you should expect, uh, as I say, in November, December, the remaining 14 holes to be released. 